Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I have some more amazing news surfacing from the Donald Trump administration who has signed not one, not two, but three executive orders just today that is putting Obama and Hillary Clinton in a state of panic. Uh, I am sure they are pulling their hair out over ways that they can dethrone Donald Trump and the globalists are raging mad because everything he has done today thus far has been things that he said he was going to do, unlike multiple other presidents who say they're going to do things and never get real things done. Thank you, Donald Trump, so far for following through. Now, check out the first thing he signed today, which I am stoked like no tomorrow about, and that is withdrawal of the United States from the freedom ripping Trans-Pacific Partnership negotiation and agreement. Hell freaking yeah. Uh, this is supposed to be a trade deal that they were going to push uh, and put us in all kinds of crazy directions. It had a lot of copyright laws written and thrown in there. Anyhow, I reported on this last year, how they were trying to push this in and how it was just stealing our rights as a country. Well, thank you, President Trump, for withdrawing from that and uh, giving us at least a start. Now, the number two, the second thing that he put in uh, halts big fat government, and that is a hiring freeze. Yes, another big move for Donald Trump. But what he has done is he has ordered a freeze on the hiring of the federal civilian employees to be applied across the board in the executive branch. This does not apply to the military, however, but basically he is shrinking the size of our government. No more big fat government growing and growing and growing into a communist tyrannical government, but more power to the people, more power to you and I. So a straight up hiring freeze. Now, there's a third one. Uh, that was reportedly, well, this one was started back in 1984, a rule that began with Ronald Reagan, and this is the Mexico City policy. Now, this particular one blocks federal funding for international family planning charities unless they agree not to promote abortion by, among other actions, providing patients with information about the procedure or referrals to providers who perform it. In other words, he's issued a ban on any non-government organization and they cannot receive federal money if they perform or support abortion services. So there you have it. Three big fat executive orders just issued by Donald Trump via his stroke of his pen. And I can assure you, many globalists are turning in their graves and George Soros is probably having a conniption fit. Hell yeah. Not to mention the executive order that Obama put out. I mean, God, not Obama, that Donald Trump put out the other day in regards to, well, Obamacare. Uh, thank you that there has been a repealed action on that, an executive order action, to be frank, uh, in regards to Obamacare. And the executive order for that reads, it minimizes the economic burden of the patient protection and affordable CARE Act pending repeal. Uh, so there are four major things that Donald Trump has done since he has been in office just a couple of days now. Uh, more things than what I am sharing on, on this video have been done, but these are ones that I'm sure the globalists hate with a passion. Anyhow, wanted to bring you the latest on all of that as well. Please make sure you guys check out my, my partner here uh, at getthetea.com. He's got fabulous products. Um, the most most amazing product, the most amazing detox, detox on the market is the Super Strength Tea. So check that out. It does help fund what I do here as well. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. This is Lisa Haven signing out.